Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. I only have two left. Okay, so this will be for Aries. Aries, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you're interested in uh, personal readings, donating to the channel or gifting, all the instructions are below. Um, I'm currently now offering um, life coaching. If you're interested in life coaching, I'm doing a package at a reduced price to get people back into the sort of back into life again. Um, I'm now doing a Facebook, uh, sorry, a YouTube live on Wednesdays, uh, an Instagram live on Friday and Facebook live once a month. So I'm changing the way I do things and the weekly videos now will out will be out sooner than what they were before. Um, oh. And we've also still got the G's game going on a Saturday morning. If you'd like to join us, just flick me an email. We just talk, it's just a community, um, a community club where we talk all things spiritual, really. So I think that's everything. All right, this reading will go pr approximately the end of August to around about the 5th of September. Aries, what's happening for Aries? All right, Two of Pentacles coming straight out the gate. Now, the Two of Pentacles is a card that talks about, it's a card of balancing out two options. It can often be something like, you know, a head over heart decision or balancing out to two people, two properties, two jobs. Um, so sometimes the pentacles can be a little different. Sometimes they might be two of the same thing. In this card, we see that the water behind this person is really uh, bumpy, which gives rise to the fact that there's a lot of emotion here. But he's got his back to that. So he's trying to make a decision that's logical and strategic with his back towards his emotions so that he doesn't let emotions sway his decision. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. So here's the one of the pentacles he's been tossing up. So there's some sort of decision here that you want to make, possibly about making someone an offer. Um, so this is something that you perhaps are making a choice about whether it's the right thing for you to do. Okay, so you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Um, the King of Swords can represent male or female. It's just the energy of the card. This person is sometimes a little bit cold and sometimes a bit calculated, but very much uh, an energy of logic. So it could actually be your energy here. Oh, now I look at it. <laughs> um, it could be your energy here because you're trying to make somewhat of a, a, a decision here that's logical. Um, let me just take another card. Okay, there's some sort of conflict with you here. Okay, and we have the Queen of Cups. This is some sort of decision here. Perhaps you have um, some sort of connection to a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio here. You want to make some sort of offer to them, but for some unknown reason, you're tossing up whether this is the right thing to do or not. Um, okay. You could be tossing up two people, for sure. But, so two decisions. You know, maybe you're trying to work out which party to go with, which person you prefer. You might want to make an offer of something more serious to one, but you might be dating more than one. There's a logical decision to be made. So it could be that you're working through the energy, deciding which is the best person for you to end up with. There's conflict here. So this is mental conflict. The do I, don't I, should I, shouldn't I, that sort of energy coming through. And I feel like it's because you've got two people here. Now, this is a fire sign, Leo, Sag or Aries. Um, this is a person who's probably... Um, could be a manager or a leader in their own field. They're very passionate, um, great intuition, very much a person that comes across as attractive, confident and very pleasing for you to look at. This person here is different. She is much more emotional. She has a very strong depth of emotion. She could be, um, she could be quite psychic. 
um, but very nurturing, very motherly. The thing is here, she's not really um, showing you how she's feeling here. So maybe you are dating two people or have a relationship with two different people um, or maybe someone's offering you something new and you're already dating someone else. But there are two people here. This can both be male, both be female, one of each, whatever your preference is. Okay. Right, so this is the card of Pisces Cancer. So your water sign could be one of those. Um, the moon card says that something's here, there's things hidden here that aren't coming or haven't come to light yet. This can be about emotion, hidden emotions, um, and things not spoken. Secrets. Let's get the story. All right, so we have a card that talks about being stuck in one's head, over-anxious, um, overthinking. You may be overthinking something because you don't have the information here. You may be going around and around in your head because you don't have all the information. Wheel of Fortune coming through. Something is about to be shown to you, though. Okay, the magician's coming through here. I feel that there's some sort of decision that you're going to make here that the universe is going to give you some insight into. Um, you know, when we're sort of, we've been dating people or, or we're dating someone and someone new comes along and we feel that we would like to see whether, you know, they're right for us and we don't want to make a decision about moving forward with the wrong person. The Wheel of Fortune talks about karma. It talks about the universe moving the karmic wheel in our favour. The magician here talks about manifestation. So I feel strongly here that one of these people you are meant to be with and the other person perhaps not so much. But you are here in a position where you've got to work out who is the best person for you. What is the best fit? Okay, so there's an offer of love here. You want to give an offer of love. Someone here, this is a wish card. Someone here, you know, makes you feel that they're right for you. You want a steady relationship here with the Hierophant. This talks about marriage. This talks about long term. This also talks about sort of taking your control, taking power, you know, having this sort of energy of knowing what you want and going after it. Now, I haven't really thought about the fact that you may be already in a relationship with another person and a new person's come in here um, because this could mean that you are already married or already in a commitment and your new person's come in. Let's just have a look here. Okay, wow. Okay, Justice, that's what I said. There's a very karmic feel here. I reckon what's happening here, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Magician. Beautiful, beautiful cards, but such complex cards in amongst them. I feel like you're already in a relationship here. You could already be in a serious relationship or you could be married. This could be the person you're dealing with. I feel that there's some sort of commitment here already and someone has come in here Um who's made you feel extra specially good some kind of way uh, and you're now doubting that you want to stay in the situation you're in you want to move into a new situation so it's possible you could already be in a relationship here with the justice and the hierophant here um, there's a lot of major arcanas here so i i strongly believe that the person that you are meeting maybe someone that's destined to be with you but it's possible you could be in some sort of karmic situation here that's keeping you tied up and now you have the decision of which way do I go do I stay with my partner my current partner my wife the family person or do I move so the queen of cups in this situation I think is a mother figure so she may have you may have children with her she may be married to you. 
okay and i feel like you want to give an offer to someone new and it to me this sort of feels very strongly like you're trying to work out a very logical way to go about this you know do you cut one person out do you you know communicate to the other person about how you're feeling and this is where the conflict is arising here i feel like this is most likely your wife i do think that you're in an in a relationship where somebody is not open with their feelings maybe um, is very difficult to deal with maybe a good mother good wife but maybe doesn't feel you don't feel that loves you the way you'd like to be loved and then you've got this person who's come in who's very very independent very attractive to you but is showing you the passion here that you want to see so now you're wondering which way do you go I feel like here the universe is saying to you, you have everything you need here to make a decision. Um, I do think that there's information here that needs to come to light on which way to go. You may seek out someone to speak to here about how to um, work with this energy because I feel like your wish is to move on to the other person. But because of your commitment to the relationship, you're finding it very difficult. So it's like you want to rush in here and make this offer. But you know you can't at the moment. Because you do see this new person as being a wish come true. But you're already tied in a relationship. So you've got to make the decision here as to how you move on. Whether you move on. Whatever the commitment. Whatever it is for you. It's your choice. It's your soul. It's what's best for you. You know, a lot of people stay in loveless marriages for a very long time without sort of feeling like they have the opportunity to move. You know, this is something that you've got to decide for yourself here. Um, but, you know what, at the end of the day, it's your choice. All right. Oh, I have a contract. <laughs> so you may have a contract with, you know, your partner in terms of a marriage contract. Um, and this is here as well. Um, you may have a marriage contract with your partner, but you also may have a contract with the person that's come in, a karmic contract, which is very different again, which makes it hard because you already have a connection to the new person as well as the old person. And this is what, why it makes it so hard for you. Um, oh, wow. So you have the card of the eagle coming in here talking about creating your vision, creating a vision for yourself. So, you know, if you see yourself with this new person, then maybe it's just about making that decision. You can't sort of sit on the fence and have two people um, around you. You have to make a decision. We have the card of lightning coming through here, which is card 30, which I think is what's going to happen. If you don't make a decision, the universe will send in the tower. Okay, so the essence here is the formidable electrical discharge of a lightning bolt brightens the sky and strikes the earth, accompanied by the mighty sound of thunder. This phenomenon has a positive aspect. The light illuminates the earth and the psyche, but there is a destructive side as well. The bolt can burn and even kill if it's too strong. The forces of the upper world are investing their gathered energies to ignite you with new inspiration and creativity. Allow this divine gift awakening to take root in your being and enjoy a renewed sense of clarity, passion and vision. So I'm thinking here with this Wheel of Fortune and this beautiful magician that somehow or another the universe is going to give you some sort of insight or some sort of information here that's going to help you see what you want in your future. Many of us stay in situations that really aren't right for us. And if your situation is that you do not feel loved or cared for in your relationship, you have to question, you know, do you want to stay there and maybe not have the life you want? Or do you want to honour yourself and make a change or a difference? The thing is, as human beings, we are led to believe that we don't have a choice, that we need to stay in commitments forever, regardless of whether they're violent, aggressive, there's domestic violence, there's, you know, all sorts of pain and calamity, but we're asked in the human world to stay there. But what you have to remember is you only get one chance at this life. If you don't choose what's right for you, 
then you waste yourself. And is that really what you want to do? So it's your choice which way you go. Do you honour your marriage or your relationship or do you honour your own soul by going after what you want? This is your choice and this is the lesson you have to learn. You have to learn how to put yourself first. Have a great week.